Hi right, guys, welcome back. Um, as you saw in the last video, uh, I sprayed all this foam in here. And I said I was going to leave it for like a few days, but this is literally like one day later. And like, like, it's a lot more solid than it was the other day, which was making me worried because it was like really flimsy. We're going to peel the mold off um, and then show you what it looks like without that. And then we'll do some measuring and stuff and start shaving it down, trying to get a rough shape out of it. This is way too tall at the moment, but better go too much and shave down. That side hurts because it's pulling the sticker off. All the cars coming back. This thing is on there. It's legit moving the Should car. Nah. Right, That is stuck on there, man. It didn't actually stick to the cardboard as bad as I thought it would. Like this is all this, this all of this stuff is like the sticker that was on the cardboard. <laughs> yeah, that's just pushing on the wing. This thing's sturdy. I'm not really scared about it anymore. What about this stuff here? Uh, that's going to be actually a lift the boot up job, I reckon. Yeah, there you go. And you can just pull this down. Just like that. Oh, dude, it's like perfectly a lot, uh, on the edge of the hatch. This has got to shave down loads anyway, because it fades. The idea is fade it to nothing at this metal edge here. Yeah. So by having like a couple of inches here, that gives us that ability to shave it back and get it looking good. Yeah. It's very, very, very holy though. Alan, what are you using that bit of metal for? <laughs> uh, so we're using it as a guide. Um, so Reese found this piece of metal, basically bent it to the shape of the sort of ducktail. So it fits perfectly over here. So what we'll basically do is as we sort of sand and file down the foam, we'll go along using this to check it just to make sure that the profile of the curve is the same and uniform the entire way along. Nailed it. Right, so we've uh, sanded it down and we've got like pretty much the rough shape. There was also tons of massive like air pockets at the top, I guess it was just where I'd sprayed one can of foam on and then sprayed another one on and it was like gassy in between. This has made massive pockets. We've pretty much like uncovered all of those um, and then I just stuck the, third, the fourth can of foam in there and just like backfilled all of them. So it should be good there. That'll add a lot more structure to that top edge because it was a bit flimsy when we were filing it. But we've brought it down to like pretty much where we want it. Put some more foam in it. We're going to let that set for like another day or so. 
we're getting pretty close shape wise we'll show you in a sec like run over it and stuff and yeah we've basically just got like trim it in we have our template trim it in uh, and then we can start just literally throwing filler on it to try and fill all the crap um, and then smooth that out pretty much got a duct tail made of foam at that point so we'll show you what it looks like and then um, we'll close out the video and see you in the next one Thank you.